Hi, it's James here from the Sprinkle Donut Forge in Moscow, Texas. And uh, let's make a spoon. Now, I've seen people use spoon blanks and a swage, which what I'm using for a swage, which is concave, is the bottom of an old uh, oxygen bottle or an old gas bottle. It's been smoothed up, welded up. This was a gift to me from Mr. Robin. Anyway, I cut some blanks out, and I've noticed some problems that I've seen with people trying to use uh, spoon blanks is they want to bounce out of the swage, and you got to kind of hold them down with the tongs, and they want to move around, so I cut mine, uh, left a little tab on there. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but at least you can hold on to it. So let's get it to fire, get it hot, and see how quick we can dish this out the bottom of this old bottle. See you in a minute. All right, you might want to reduce your volume because this thing's going to ring a little bit. Let's pull it out and see what we can do. That's not bad. Now it tips a little up, so I'm going to do a little bit of massaging on the anvil here. And uh, we'll call that spooned. See you in a minute. Alright, let's just be gentle with it and finish it out on the anvil. Using my rounded side of my hammer here. Tell you what, I'm going to heat it up and try to close these sides just a little bit. So let's do that. No need to pause. This happens kind of fast. Make sure you can see the step of the angle. I'm going to work in that. You couldn't see it at all, could you? All right, here we go.
with that. I'm happy with that. That'll work. That will scoop up your potato salad. See you in a minute. All right. Spoon. That's make the handle. I think I'll just make it out of some rebar. Got some small rebar. Let's do it. See you in a minute. There's 10 inches of 3 8 rebar. This particular rebar in the slot that I've got, it's hardenable, so it ain't the easiest to work on. Oh, here comes the train. Train passes, we'll get on with making this handle. See you in a minute. kind of flatten that out there. I'll leave it a little thick. Do the other end the same way. Now this is kind of a big spoon, so I'm going to put a hole in it so you can hang it up. So let's make the hole next. Let's knock a hole in it. There you hold. You think about a punched hole, it kind of pushes material out. A drilled hole removes material. That little slug's not very big. While I got it in this stage, I'm going to go ahead and touch mark it up here on this part. And uh, we'll proceed with mounting it to the spoon. See you in a minute. Perfect. 
it ain't a spoon yet. So, let's get there. See you in a minute. All right. So I'm going to size it up. Ahead and center punch. I'm going to put two small rivets. I still haven't decided whether to use copper or steel, but copper is usually a pretty friendly option for this because of its uh, soft nature, as long as you don't overwork it. stuff is harder than this little center punch. It's still hot too. I haven't quenched it. But let me show you. This is a store-bought punch. It was needle sharp just a moment ago. Now it needs dressed. Now you know why you should buy your tools from a blacksmith. Anyway, got that center punch, going to heat it up, and I'm going to use this smaller punch to punch them out. And uh, what I'm going to use is this little fella. I'd say that's about a, it's not a quarter inch, maybe three sixteenths, a little shy of three sixteenths of an inch. Just a piece of sucker rod, weld it onto a handle, a little heat treat on it. Get your hand away from where the hammer's hitting. So we use this, I use this for my small tack, small rivets. Little tools you can make yourself. There you go. See you in a minute. Here's a punch. Save a drill bit. Look, it's loose, but it's back in the hole. Let's knock it on out of there. Yeah. Okay. And remember, you can always use the hammer to hold your piece down if you need to. Hold the anvil, two holes, one heat. Nice and smooth. See, instead of removing all that metal with the drill bit and this thin little piece, the punch squishes it down, moves it aside. So you end up with these little slugs. Little tiny piece of metal. Negligible waste. There you go. Okay, now we'll use this to template onto the spoon blank where we want to put the holes. And being that it's so thin, and it's mild still, a sixteenth of an inch thick, I'll take it to the drill press. This rebar being rather hard, I didn't want to waste my good drill bits on it, so I simply punched the holes. It's very fast and efficient, and you don't have to cool the piece to take it to the press. So there you go. See you in a minute.
3 16 copper, cut to 5 8 in length. Now, I don't know if I explained this or not, but I drilled about halfway through the stem stock here, the handle stock, the wide hole, so I could countersink these. That way these rivets won't be dragging on your food receptacles. So now the spoon is very solid. So all I got to do now is develop the attitude of the handle. So we'll see you in a minute. Oh, there we go. Are you ready for some potato salad? Well, you'll have to make that. I can show you how to make the spoon. We'll talk about it. We'll see you in a minute. Well, here's our spoon. All cleaned up. Got it where you can hang it up. I put the bend up here. That way you can... Get you a dollop of mashed potatoes or whatever with it. 
That's all you get. Spoon big enough, that's all you get. Anyway, I'm still mulling over my 500 sub giveaway. I want to do something nice and I want to have a stipulation, but I ain't figured it out yet. But I'm not going to procrastinate about it forever. I've got to uh, get a few things done that I need to be getting done. One of them is a mallet. I almost spilled the beans on what I was going to make it out of. Uh, to give to Daniel Baca from D Baca Maker. Be sure to check out D Baca Maker's channel. I will put the link in the description of this video because uh, he does a lot of amazing things with wood and there you go. Check him out. And he also made an ambidextrous uh, steak turner and sent it to me. Uh, I won it from him. One of his giveaways. That thing's amazing. It's got a beautiful pineapple twist on the handle. Uh, if I had it handy, I think it's got some steak on it. If I had it handy, I'd show it to you. Anyway, there's a spoon. See now, I use a tab to where I can work in my uh, my swedge with it. So, if you're gonna dish anything, uh, you're gonna make your own blanks. You might consider putting a little something to hold on to. If you don't like the look of that, you can cut it off later. But I like it. Uh, structurally because I can get the rivets out of the spoon so it's kind of neat well that's all I got for right now so till next time bye